Hey guys, what's up? This is Green Miller coming at you with, yet again, another video. What I'm going to be showing you is how to make auto-generated playlists in iTunes. So if you look here, um, this is a default playlist, and as you can see it's 90s music. And what it does is it automatically generates all the songs in your library that are 90, that were made in the 90s. And as you buy more songs, it automatically puts them into this list and you might want to make one of these and be like how can I get more of these how can I do one for like you know uh, maybe I want one for rock you can see here I made one for rock and just has everything that is rock or maybe you want to automatically generate everything for let's say Taylor Swift well the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna sit here we're going to select new smart playlist. All right, so it'll bring up this window here. And as you can see, we'll have uh, have this here. So we can match music, movies, TV shows. We're going to make sure music is selected. And we can select uh, genre. So genre is, we can say, uh, metal right as you can see I just typed M and it came up metal and if I press enter we have a new one metal and we can see we have dream theater Mastodon and uh, we have Rob Scallions but what happens if like let's say I decide I don't like Mastodon all of a sudden I no longer want to listen to Mastodon well we can Edit Smart Playlist, and as you can see in this window here, we have this little plus icon. So we can play plus, and we can say artist contains, or we can say is not. We can say Mastodon. So, genre is metal, and artist is not Mastodon. We can keep adding rules. We can say we don't want Rob Scallion, so artist is not Rob Scallion. And we can also limit how many songs we want in there. So if you just want a handful of songs, we can say that. We can say match only checked items, which doesn't seem to make any sense. We can have live updating. And what live updating will do is as you get new songs, it'll automatically add those. If you uncheck it, it'll no longer add songs as you buy them. So I'm going to leave live updating on. I'll select OK. If you look at the playlist now, it is just Dream Theater and The Last Sacrament. And that is how you make smart playlists. As you can see, there is a plethora of options you can select bit rates albums uh, how much love you give an album so if you love an album or if you love a song it'll put it in there uh, or it won't put it in there if you decide love is not uh, um, you know the ratings the skips but yeah this is how you make these smart playlists this is relatively simple once you figure it out of course you can remove things that you've added so now we can just go back to genre is metal and everything that's metal will now show up again so uh, thank you for watching I hope you got what you were looking for and until next time have a good one